the American actor became an icon of Western and war films, featuring in more than 100 movies and TV productions. However, John Wayne's traditional and very conservative American values remained the most important thing for him, and led to him rejecting a role in the immensely popular 1950s film, High Noon. Speaking in 1974, he reflected on his decision and blasted the storyline as being un-American. BBC series Talking Pictures Explored This is an episode about Western classics. The series showed archive footage of Wayne speaking to Michael Parkinson in 1974. Parkinson probed the actor about his decision, confused as to why he rejected the part. The presenter stated, I read an interview that you gave, John, in which you said you objected to High Noon, to the film itself. You said it was un-American. I saw that film, and I guess a lot of people here in this audience will have seen that film and I, for the life of me, can't see what's un-American about it. Wayne responded, well. A whole city of people that have come across the plains and suffered all kinds of hardships are suddenly afraid to help out a sheriff because three men are coming into the town that are tough. Now, he goes to them and pleads them, and he goes into the church. And for some reason, the women are all sitting on one side of the church and the men are sitting all on the other side of the church, and he pleads his case. Continuing, he scoffed, and the men say, no, 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 and the women get up and say, you're yellow, you're cowards, I don't. I don't think that ever happens in the United States. Then at the end of the picture, he took the United States Marshal badge, threw it down, stepped on it and walked off. I think those things are just a little bit un-American. Many consider High Noon one of the greatest westerns of all time, though. The role of Marshall Will Kane, which Wayne had turned down, went to Gary Cooper and the part won him 1952's Academy Award for Best Actor. Dot it wasn't the first Miss Troll Wayne turned his back on. It has been reported the role of Major TJ King Kong in Drive. Strange Love was written with Wayne in mind, but he apparently turned it down. In the 1960s, Wayne had accepted the part of Major Reisman in The Dirty Dozen, but he eventually withdrew to make the Green Berets. However, the many roles he did accept went on to earn him critical acclaim. Four decades on from his death. Wayne remains a hit with Hollywood fans thanks to his expansive career. His film collection has earned him a title as one of the biggest stars of Hollywood's golden age. Talking Pictures is available to watch on BBC iPlayer.